Well, parents at a Blaine daycare are extremely upset after finding out police arrested two teachers for allegedly abusing infants. Our Corn Hogger talked to the parents of two victims and he joins us now from Blaine. So Corn, the details of this case are alarming. Yeah, it's absolutely true, Kelsey. Small World actually closed its doors today and they held a meeting for parents whose kids are still enrolled here. But those parents told me they were not notified about this meeting until 10 o'clock last night and they still didn't get the whole story until they talked to me. He came home with some bruises that were a little concerning. She had started coming home with marks. Bruises and marks raised red flags within weeks of parents taking their infants to Small World Learning Center in Blaine this spring. Janice Degonda says she alerted administrators a month ago. Cody and Christina Peck tried to do the same with a note from their doctor. We actually gave that to one of the teachers that was arrested. After a month of relative peace, the arrest came last week. Daganda's daughter came home with severe marks and bruising to her pelvic area and eight other parts of her body, injuries we can't even show you on TV. They brought her to doctors who notified police. Investigators checked surveillance footage. When he started explaining it, my heart just dropped. Because obviously, I didn't think it was anything that, that vicious. Police say they saw small world caretakers Elizabeth Wiemerslaga and Chloe Johnson handling three babies so roughly they were obviously crying even in silent video. Officers say they saw the women slam a baby onto a support pillow, flip one aggressively on a floor mat, violently pull a five-month-old up by its arm, and shove a bottle in and out of another infant's mouth. The packs discovered their son also had a fractured tibia. It couldn't have happened from anything besides abuse. Both women face felony charges, including assault of a child. Daganda says her daughter seems mostly back to normal after almost a week away from Small World, but she won't do tummy time. The Peck's son was all smiles Monday, but the parents are keeping their eyes open for signs of trauma they never imagined their kids could suffer so soon. It's really just sort of like our worst nightmare coming true. And daycare management told me they fired both women and they are cooperating with both police and state investigators. Now, Blaine's representative in the legislature is Nolan West, and he also took a child to this daycare facility. Coming up on Fox 9 at 6, we'll hear about his traumatic experience and some ideas he has initially to possibly fix this in the legislature. For now, we're live in Blaine, Corin Hoggart, Fox 9. All right, Corin. Well